Oh yeah, I'm, I'm Simon and I've been fishing for about five years now. Sort of six years ago, someone said, um, you're going to be fishing crazy. I said, no, nah, no, nah, fishing's boring. But once you get bitten by the bug and it just gets a hold of you and you sort of, all you want to do, all you want to think about is fishing. And uh, I've caught quite a few species. My first experience was uh, a little bit boring as I'd sort of bought a rod and a reel I thought I've got to catch something once I've caught my first fish it was a pound and a half bass then it sort of progressed from there I just wanted a bigger bass and I fished on this pier a couple of times uh, it's usually quite good in the summer months for for the mackerel beauty with the pier you can get quite a way out into deeper water quite quick uh, so you don't need to really cast very far and there has been some quite good fish caught off this pier. Most people think um, when fishermen are sitting there, sort of like just sitting there, I don't know whether they think we sort of drift off to sleep or something, but personally I'm sort of thinking, am I in the right place? Why aren't I catching? Sometimes it can be quite stressful. <laughs> Some people find sort of, wouldn't sort of believe that fishing could be quite stressful, but um, sometimes it can be stressful. Yeah, fishing does allow you to escape the everyday sort of stresses of life um, but sometimes it can have its own stresses I suppose it sort of goes back to our, like our human instincts and sort of like the hunter in us although I'm usually uh, a catch and release sort of person I do care for the fish you know so I don't keep them out of the water a long time I make sure they're healthy and um, sometimes I've got soaking wet and freezing cold making sure that the fish swims off. So there's, there is sort of some sort of crazy bond between like, a fisherman and the, and the fish. Um, when you sort of look at a fish, you think, well, it's pretty ugly, really. But some of the carp fishermen, they sort of like really love their fish. Most of them give them a kiss before they put them back. <laughs> I haven't gone that far yet. But. <laughs> Techniques for sea and river and lakes are all sort of a different techniques for the sea it's a bit more full-on and brutal you couldn't see fish with like a river rod or a carp rod so you need different equipment for whatever sort of fishing you're going to do you start off with one rod and before you know your two you got sort of 30 rods 20 reels and sort of like always updating your equipment and it never ends there's something about the sea it's uh it's powerful and you've got to pay it some respect. I've lost some equipment to the sea. I haven't been fishing very long and I was a bit silly and sort of lost 90% of my equipment, rods, rod rest, and tackle box. A big wave came in and sort of like, I tried to grab it and it took me and everything out and sort of like I had to let go try to scramble to shore save my own life and then I realized that how powerful the sea was uh, I have booked holiday to go fishing before and everyone at work seems to know sort of like any spare moment I go fishing I've usually got my rods in the car and sort of after work I shoot off fishing for a few hours yeah take the family fishing yeah they've been fishing uh, son-in-law my son my daughters my wife's the only one that hasn't been fishing yet but there's still hope, perhaps one day she'll come fishing. You never know, she might get bitten by the boat. Fishing to me is uh, it's a challenge. And no matter if it's sea, river or lakes, you're sort of um, competing against nature. And you're always, you always want a bigger fish, no matter how big a one you catch. You sort of like, I've got friends that caught like 40 pound carp and they want to catch a 50 pound carp. And, it's sort of like it's never ending. And what inspires me to, to keep going fishing week after week is uh, there's always a bigger fish in the sea and you want to catch it. Once you get bitten, it's, uh, it's no going back. <laughs>